Yo, 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 what is up everyone? It's Captain Giorgio here and welcome back to another video. Today, we're jumping into the world of sports photography. Whether you're just a rookie or looking to level up your game, we got some friendly tips to help you capture those action-packed moments. So let's dive right into it. First off, let's talk about the basics. Sports photography is about freezing those dynamic moments on the field. It's more than just clicking a button. It's about telling a story through your shots. So always remember the equipment. Choose a fast and reliable camera with good autofocus capabilities. Grab a lens that suits the sports you're shooting and you're halfway to capturing those winning shots. Step 2. Know the game. Dive right into the sport. Understand the moves, anticipate the action, and get ready to capture the most exciting moments. I can't tell you how important it is to be aware of the game that you're capturing, because with that knowledge, you can start to already pre-plan your shot, and therefore start getting yourself in the right position of the game, and in the right part of the field, so that you'll be able to capture those amazing shots. If you haven't already, I really appreciate if you can subscribe to the channel. By subscribing, you'll stay up to date with the latest photography tips, tutorials, and inspirations we share here. Plus, it's absolutely free. Step 3. Action Setup Setting the scene, paying close attention to your environment, lighting, and camera settings, whether it's natural light or under the stadium floodlights. Set up for the game smooth. Sometimes, it can even just be a spotlight. It all depends on the lighting that you're in. Step 4. Compose your shot. Use the rule of thirds. Experiment with different angles and make sure your subject stands out. Keep your focus sharp and consider the background to add depth to your sports story. The best lens for any sports photographer will be the lens that can give you the, the smallest depth of field or the smallest aperture but yet can give you the longest range of focus. And these lenses are no joke. They're really expensive, they're really big, but if you know how to use it, the, the shots that just come out of those lenses, it's amazing. While planned shots are fantastic, be ready to capture those unexpected authentic moments on the field. Sometimes the best shot happens when the game takes an unexpected turn, or when you least expect it. So always be aware and conscious about exactly what's going on in the game. Take a look at the people around, the players, and try to come up with ideas as to how you can come up with your own compositional shot. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more photography tips and tricks. Step 6. Burst Mode Burst Mode is like capturing a series of shots in quick succession to increase the chances of getting that perfect action frame. It's like creating a sequence of sports poetry with your camera. And again, this will highly depend on the frames per second that your camera comes with. So at some point, it will start shooting at 7 FPS or 25 FPS, depending on the camera. The higher the quality, of course, you would get more frames per second. Um, but again, that also means a lot more loading time on your computer. And if you're shooting with raw files, oh boy, you're just, <laughs> it's going to cause some lag unless you have the power for it. Finally, and I'll say it again, post-processing. Enhancing your colors, adjusting the tones, and making sure your sports moments pop. But remember, try to keep it natural, let the energy of the game shine through. Unless, of course, you're doing the artistic approach. In conclusion, that is the art of sports photography made friendly. With the right gear, game knowledge, and a bit of creative flair, you can capture those game-changing shots. So don't forget to subscribe for more photography tips and tricks. And until next time, my name is Captain Georgia. Thank you so much for your time. Stay safe, stay well, and remember to stay creative. Alright, yo, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.